Let's go. Day two. Day two. All right, action. Oh, hello everybody. This is uh, day two of our digital NAB booth. So we're not <laughs> at an awful. Yeah, this is a lot to say for sure. So we're not in Las Vegas for NAB, but we are here bringing a digital booth to you. So we can still talk about our products and you can still learn about them. Yep. Ask questions as well. Uh, Today's topic is going to be lighting. So yeah, we're going to go over from um, we're going to go over our handheld lights all the way up to our larger studio lights. So we have a lot to cover here today in this hour. But yeah, we're also going to do a giveaway. So yeah, if you're tuning in right now, just stay tuned a little longer so you can get more information about this giveaway. But we're going to be giving one lucky winner a Prismo Pocket. It's one of our one of our most popular little pocket lights we have here. It's got uh, different modes here. CCT control. So you can see that. Here, change the colors and all that. Or sorry, the light and all that stuff. Yeah. He's yeah. adjusting it to 100. <laughs> percent Let's see what it looks like on the face. But anyway, yeah. So it's an RGB and also a CCT controllable light. It fits in the you know size of a phone, fits in your pocket, and on top of that, you can also charge your phone. Um, so you can take it on location, charge your phone, accessories, stuff like that. But stay tuned to learn how you can win one of these today. So. Alex, you want to get started and kind of give everybody sure. a rundown of the kind of lights we have? So a lot of people on the market are using like flash photography and whatnot. We don't really dabble in flash photography much anymore. So our bread and butter is going to be LED continuous lights. Yeah. So there's two types of lights for sure. Uh, I mean, we're, there's going to be some lights that are more, they're very styled after like standard mono lights and flash. So this is just basically an array of chips, and it's just, think of this as the one point of the source and the Bowens mount on this light. And a lot of our lights have the Bowens mount, especially in the Warrior series, but we'll, we'll talk more about the Warrior series. Uh, they do have the Bowens mount, so you can add basically any light modifier on there. So you could choose a soft box, a beauty yeah. dish, snoots even, Definitely, lanterns. Yeah. There's so many different options, and this gives you a lot of different control for being a singular light as well. So, I mean, you could use a bare bulb, but again, Add those modifiers and you can really drastically control how you're gonna be yeah. using them. And then the second style of light is of course a traditional flat panel. So right here we have the Flapjack C700. We'll go over it more later on in the video, but for right now, I'm just giving you an example of another uh, panel we have. These flat panels, again, they're very lightweight and are also battery powered, AC powered. And that's just another style of light that we carry. Of course, there's gonna be obscure shapes and sizes in between, but we'll get to those eventually. This has a battery. Oh, I just yeah. I'll put it over here. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. So from smallest to biggest, let's start with, should, should we even, should we yes. talk about the There's pocket? There's a pocket. Let's go even more. This is a fun one to show off at trade shows. Um, I'm sure if you've been to uh, our booth in like, you know, the past year, you've seen this little guy right here, but it's a pocket size RGB light. It's called the Prismo Pocket. And, you know, the Prismo line is part of our RGB series of LED lights. And this one right here is pretty cool because why, Alex? <laughs> uh, so there's a lot of, like Angel mentioned before, there are a lot of different modes that you can use it in. For sure, you have the CCT mode, so that's a corrective or correlative color temperature. So yeah. you can actually change the color temperature. So there you go, perfect. Yeah. So we you want to hit this light too, Sean? We go ahead and show the, uh, everybody how bright the pocket light is. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go ahead and hit it. Oh, you got it. So right now I have this on the very coolest of white that we have, and it's about 8,500 Kelvin. And it's decently bright. Uh, I can't see the screen outlet as well, but I can adjust it mm -hmm. all the way down to yeah. 2500K. So you can, uh, CCT modes are really good if you want to match existing lights that are already being used in the scene. That way you get a lot of consistency. I mean, if, or you could use it to create some uh, color temperature contrast. It's yeah. not uh, so much a conventional use, but it's something you should, you could yeah. certainly look into. And you can toggle between modes. So right now, Alex, go ahead and toggle to the um, hue, saturation, and intensity mode. Yeah. Once in hue and sa it's hue, saturation, and intensity mode, you can control, of course, the hue. So it's so the hue is controlled from a 360 degree color wheel. So depending on what, uh, you know, with, with, with what value you can click between zero and 360, that's gonna give you different colors, you can see. And the saturation, of course, um, what that controls is how much white light is being emitted from the light. So you can get you know more washed out colors or you know full saturation. Like right now we're desaturating the lights, yep. and the intensity is another value you can adjust from zero to one hundred, and it is again zero to one hundred. So you go from one, two, three, four, five, and not the typical ten to one hundred percent you see on other lights. So yeah, and, uh, the other cool thing about this light is it has special uh, special effects as well built into the light. So Alex, go ahead and uh, let's choose one, any of them. <laughs> 
that's the fault though. This right, is that's like a, that's a, give me, the, you want party mode? Party mode. Let's see, lightning, lightning, cinema, police, <laughs> ambulance, fire truck, so, yeah. fast RGB. So this one's not quite party <laughs> mode, but this is just going to automatically go through the entire yeah. uh, color wheel throughout that. Yeah, so again, why special effects are pretty cool because they emulate uh, real world lighting effects that you can just, you know, emulate Sorry. from the palm of your hand. Um, but yeah, and another nifty mode about this See, is party mode. Hey, party mode, let's go. <laughs> and another cool feature about this light is it has um, RGB colored mixing, so you can control the individual values of the RGB chip from 0 to 255. Mm -hmm. So you can make your own custom color, and it's all based on the uh, hex. Uh, hex uh, no, so not hex code, but it's like the RGB color space. So you add your RGB. red channel, your green channel, your blue channel, and it. Uh, if you're really good at knowing what those three equal out to, you can do that. Otherwise, yeah. I like to use HSI mode, mainly because you just pick basically what hue it is and you just choose how strong it is. It's a, yeah. a lot more simple, but RGB mode is another great way. And here's another fun one we have here for our RGB um, handheld light. So this one right here is the uh, Prisma Stick. Um, and Alex, if you don't mind, or Sean, do you might get me the, another one over there first, please? So this is the same concept as the um, Prisma Pocket. However, it comes in a 180 degree to form factor. So this one, again, is also battery powered like the Prisma Pocket. So, you know, you recharge it and it's good to go. Um, battery time on this one is actually, I think, really two hours and 30 minutes. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> but the cool thing about this one is it's a tube. So with this one, you can do, um, again, light paintings like the other one, but it's also longer so you can get a better coverage on a person. Um, and we use these a lot too for marketing and stuff like that. Uh, so all, all the content you see is, you know, we use, usually use these lights to light those um, videos and stills, yeah. But same um, same features as the Prisma Pocket, just a different form factor, um, and yeah. And the benefit of using these lights with both of the Prisma Pocket and the Prisma Sticks is uh, you can put them anywhere and there's no, you know, AC port, it's all battery powered, so yeah. yeah. Completely cordless, weird. <laughs> Not plugged in at all. And it's get pretty creative with these. Um, the, the cool thing about the Prisma Stick is that it has a, uh, let's show them right here, so zoom in if you'd like. It has a, um, a, touch, a touch sensitive um, control interface, I guess, if you want to call it that. <laughs> you can toggle between different modes here. So again, that RGB mixing mode, uh, the special effects mode, uh, the address pairing. The reason why we have address pairing on this light is because it's Bluetooth. So this works with our app. And our app uh, basically controls all the features you would on the light itself here. And another mode we have on this light is, of course, the um, color, temperature, and the intensity control, so CCC control. But I can go from uh, 0 to 100. And if I, oh, wrong button. And if I hit the set button, I can control the values. I can toggle between each value individually. And I can change the color temperature here from the tungsten range of 2700 all the way up to, I believe, six. Was it 6500? Yeah. Uh, yes. And 6500 is actually an interesting color because this, this um, color temperature range is used for high fashion work. So if you're someone who's into like, you know, high key lighting, high fashion lighting, consider getting something like this for your next shoot. You know, do some cool stuff, gives you nice catch lights. But yeah, this is another, just another one of our handheld lights. We have to offer. Yeah, this is a great light, like a very popular WPPI this year. It's yep. because people would ask, what would you use it for? But everyone's thinking mainly uh, light painting, but you can do so much more with it. I mean, Absolutely. You could turn it into key, you could use it as fill, you could use it as an edge light, basically anything that any other light that you would use it for, you can use it as that. Yep. It fills exactly. so, so many different purposes, and the nice uh, form factor is great, I'd say. Yeah, and now we have one more light to showcase uh, in the handheld series before we move on to something bigger. Now, Alex, you want to take it away with this bad boy? <laughs> sure. So, oh, sorry. It's fine. This is our uh, Prismo Globe, so I can press that and it turns on. The cool thing is, uh, this one is primarily app controlled, actually. So, what we're going to do is uh, pair that, some of that. And I like this globe mainly because of that diffusion up here, it makes it a lot softer. I, we've taken off before, but it's a lot harsher, but that round form factor as well just makes it so mm -hmm. that. Uh, light can spread very easily around. It. Yeah, but this is again has a lot of the same bells and whistles. It has the uh, CCT mode. It's got the uh, HSI mode, RGB, the same special effects. Yeah. So this one is primarily app control. There's a few controls on the actual light, but primarily the only buttons you want to be touching is. Uh, do we know what number that one is? Yeah. 
three, three, four, perfect. So I'm going to uh, ping it on the app. So yeah, right now it's using the app to control the light. Mm -hmm. So I can do that. If it's blinking like that, it's being pinged. And now I've got full control through the app. Ooh. So here I'm at 2600K and over there, I'm gonna go to 7500K. So that even goes beyond the 6500K that the Prismo State goes to, which is even nicer. And additionally, I do have some uh, control over the tints between the green and magenta. So over here, I can shift to more green, and then over there, I can shift to more magenta. Oh yeah. But yeah, I can do also have, again, the HSI control, so I can uh, choose all the different colors yeah. as well. Another cool thing about this light is that it has a magnetic base, and if you buy one of the single lights by itself, it does come with a an adapter to screw into, um, I believe, what's it called the socket again? The standard uh, quarter 20? No, the uh, Edison socket. Oh, the E26 or E27, I believe. E26 yeah. or E27, but it's basically the standard household um, light bulb socket. So this is an adapter that you know lets you put in a lamp on uh, the ceiling to kind of give you a nice accent light when you, you know, maybe you want to add some color or some fill and just be discreet about it. But it also, one of these. yeah, and then you can use that to make it so that all of your lamps, say, are the same color temperature. So if you wanted to match other lights that you brought, you can change the color temperature. You can warm it up, cool it down as per usual. And yeah. Yeah. I'm going to show them real quick how the app works, just this quick sure. uh, view of the app. So right now on his phone right here, as you can see, um, he's able to control it from his phone. And yeah, I mean, there you go. It's so, a pretty yeah, easy yeah. interface to use. Um, it basically just acts as the menu for the light. And this is our the Prisma Globe. Um, right here is the only uh, fully app-controlled light that we offer in our catalog. So it is really nifty to use. Uh, a lot of people love seeing it because it's a little little egg-looking light, you know? It's a little fun, cute, small, compact. The Prismo egg. The Prismo egg. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Prismo, guys, so if you're watching this right now and you kind of, you know, been sticking around, we did mention you could win a free light here um, in our stream today. So the giveaway we're doing is, again, the Prismo Pocket. This little nifty light you see here. And the way to win it is simply DM us with the word Prismo. P R I Z M O. Prismo. So if you're watching this right now, just DM us Prismo and you're entered to win our Prismo <coughs> pocket. So yeah. We got, uh, just wanted to say hi to a couple people. Robert Silver Photography hey, has Robert. joined us. Love his work. Uh, JB Photography uh, No has joined. Uh, Meek AEL. Uh, and then Nasim as well, Nasim Films. Hello, Hello. And then uh, we actually have a question sure. from yeah. uh, Mauricio Sanchez Photo. Uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, hey guys, a Mamiya 7 to Leica Alliance coming up. Are we going to make a uh, Mamiya 7 to Leica L adapter? Uh, stay tuned, I guess. <laughs> It's, it's, it's possible, it's doable. Uh, stay tuned for that. Because I mean, we do have the Fuji GFX one currently, the Mia 7 to GFX. And also, it's Nikon Z. And to Nikon Z. So if we can do Z, we can probably do L, well, right? Probably. Yeah, I pass that along to our R&D, but they can give yeah. feedback there. Yeah, I thought he was saying that Mia and L now are joining forces for a brand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we do. Uh, we can't say for sure, but it's definitely a possibility because, like well, I said, we do, have, uh, we do have the two already. Exactly. So. Alrighty, so that the covers are smaller prism yeah. lights. It sounds like. Um, let's see. Yeah, we, ooh, do you want to do the pop spot? Let's do it. Let me grab oh, the pop spot. my wife joined. Myra, hey Myra. Hey Myra. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> <clears throat> Next up on our list here, we're gonna move up to a slightly larger light, and this one's called the Prism. Not the Prism. I wish it was Prism. <laughs> this is the uh, Pop Spot V2. Now, for those of you watching. Some of you might be familiar with the original Pop Spot, the Pop Spot J500, way back in the day. So we released these um, literally soda pop shaped style lights. I mean, look how compact they are. Yeah, we are in the Midwest, so I guess we refer to it as Pop. I mean, pop. I'm yeah. more of a soda person. I'm a soda Sometimes, person yeah, too. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so definitely um, the size of a tall boy. Th th there you like go. That, yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and break down the light real quick for you. So. It's got these little mounts right here that just simply press back on the button and you release the mount. And that's the light right there. So that's the chip right there and everything. This is how big the light is itself. And then simply you light up the red dot with the red dot on this projector lens here. And it's like a lens actually. <laughs> you have the lens attached and you can also remove the uh, barn doors itself. But again, red dot to red dot, you can align everything up. And I wanna note one thing, when you actually remove this uh, barn door, this actually is a 
pro photo mount, correct? Yeah, that is a pro photo. It does have the same diameter. So you, if you have any pro photo soft boxes or modifiers, you can add that to the end of this pop spot. Yeah, and definitely in our catalog, we have a lot of light modifiers. So mm -hmm. we do support pro photo as well. So you could buy one of our smaller soft boxes to support this light and kind of diffuse it, modify the light. And this little lens in here, as you can see, you can see that motion right there. You can zoom in, oh, you can zoom out and zoom in as well. So what this does, is it gives you a, a, a hard and a, what's it called? Spot and fill, yeah. mm -hmm. a spot, spot and fill, flood, flood. flood light. Yep. There you mm -hmm. go. So you can get very like precise, you know, narrow light on a subject, or you can flood the whole area with light. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and demo that, Alex. So, so uh, while you guys are setting that up, uh, F is for family said that's cool. So I think he's talking about the pop spot. Yeah, we love the pop spot around here. We use it all the time. And then uh, Robert uh, Silver said the pop spot looks very useful. And yes, it is very useful. Uh, yeah, and uh, if you guys have any, I'm just gonna jump in real quick. For sure. Hi guys, Sean here with PhotoDX. I'm just, uh, I'm running the camera today. If you have any questions about any of the lights that we're showing off, or if you have any other questions about our products, uh, just uh, type it in the, uh, in the discussion and uh, we'll, we'll answer your questions. Yep, so the pop spot is a really nice light mainly because you could use it for a lot of different things. Like Angel said earlier, it does have a pro photo mount, so you could use it as a key if you wanted to. Uh, but here we're using it as an edge light, and they make such good edge lights mainly because they are so small, they're so compact, you can easily rig them up to a stand as well without having to uh, put yeah. so much extra weight on them. Exactly. Like, so I'll just stick them yeah. in the corner of the room behind me. Robert's asking, what's the power of the pop spot? Power of the pop spot. I'm actually not sure on the actual lumens or lux. I can look it up, but Angel, if you can, uh, I'll take it away. Yeah, yeah, you can. No, so, no, you can uh, yeah. crank it all the way up. <laughs> in the meantime, so right now I'm turning it all the way up to 100% power. It is daylight, so keep that in mind. Yeah, it is only um, daylight balance. It's yeah. not by color. And here's the cool thing. Yeah, here's the cool thing about all of our lights. All the specs are available on our website. We are mm -hmm. not shy with the specs. We put down every single detail about the lights, from you know how much power it draws lumens they are you know the color temperature you know we put all the readings up on our website we are not shy about it we're very mm -hmm. honest about what you know the kind of the color rendition of our lights and everything like that is but yeah as you can see here the barn doors are awesome because you can control the light like like the spill of the light so right now i can like just control the light only onto his face as you can see there okay oh, it's blinding as heck right oh yeah i can't see you i don't even know who's talking <laughs> angel over there <laughs> anyway i did pull up the oh. specs and it looks like it's about 16,511 uh, lux at about a meter. I don't, I'm not really good with the 16,000. 16, okay. 16,000. So, uh, yeah, Robert said, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So that's the, the power of it at one meter. Yep. Uh, they are fairly powerful lights. Uh, I have used a, just a trio of them to light a whole film shoot before. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, these are great for uh, also just like, you know, if you get like three of these, you can make a nice little uh, three-point lighting with a hair light included as well. Yep. Um, you know, these you can angle the light with the bracket it has on here. You can angle it up and down. Um, and right here on Alex, as you can see, I can give him a nice little hair light and just raise this up a little higher. But let's go ahead and do this real quick. Robert says, I could use it for filmmaking for sure. Oh, yeah. It's a great light for on the go, especially. I miss our uh, three-light kit from the original uh, pop spot as well. But, uh, yeah. No, well, this is a nice little light to add to your kit. It's really compact. I don't think we have the case in here, but it's only the case is only about like yay big. So yeah, and that's the benefit of our lights too. Uh, a lot of our bigger lights come in a complete kit with a case and all the accessories you need, so you can take it on the go. And this light as well can run off of V-mount power. Uh, you simply need an adapter cable. I believe it's included. Right? Yeah, I think it might be included. It does. I know the full kit does have what you need because it's a very specific AC plug, but it goes to D-tap. Yeah. Um, and that's how you would get it to, like, say, a V-mount battery. But it, the Deluxe kit also does have a converter that um, converts NPF style batteries to V-mount. So that's super helpful because yeah. it's a charger, but it's also a battery. So it. Robert's asking, uh, yeah. can you put a... Um can you put a Bowens mount modifier on this light? If you have a Pro Photo to Bowens adapter, like say ah. the back side is Pro Photo and on the front side is Bowens, you, you probably could do that, yeah. So, so you need I an adapter. Yeah, we don't carry that, but we do, uh, if you want to grab, uh, we do have uh, any um, Pro Photo uh, um, modifier will fit on the front of it. Yeah, so. it also has special effects as well. Um, it even has, I a, it has a token uh, style drop-in filter slot at the top. 
So you can drop in a, a, a Coke and filter or your own gel in here. Yeah, you have to custom cut the gels, yeah. actually. And it, that, that's built into the uh, barn door itself here. It's a little slot for it, but you could gel this light too for, you know, to just give you color. Um, but yeah, that's about it for the pop spot. Again, it's the pop spot V2, so go on our website, motordspro.com to take a look at the pop spot V2. It is on sale right now. We're running a, a site-wide sale. To oh yeah, every, off. every light that we've mentioned and every light we will mention on the stream will be on sale for 15% off as well as the rest of the yeah. site. So say you're not- For the next two days. Yeah, that's true, just, uh, just until tomorrow. It's our NAB sale. I just want to say hi to Henry729, he just joined. Uh, and then uh, Mirko325 just joined. Hello. Hello, yeah. Robert's saying he loves the size of the pop spot. Robert loves the pop spot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Robert, uh, DM us. Maybe we can, uh, maybe yeah. we can, uh, we love your photography, so maybe we can uh, yeah. hook you up with a demo unit or something. Yeah, and for everyone watching right now, just a reminder, we all, we're also doing a giveaway. So you can win this Prismo Pocket right here. Not this one specifically, but a Prismo Pocket. And the way to win, uh, the way to enter this giveaway, simply DM us the word Prismo, and you're entered, you know, for the drawing to get this light. Again, our Prismo pocket is a compact RGB, and also, uh, what is it, daylight tungsten light? Oh yeah. <laughs> see everything lights. The Swiss Army does everything. Uh, does everything. Not your taxes though. Uh, to <laughs> taxes. Oh no. Please, please get your taxes. taxes done, everyone. <laughs> End of tax season sale. Right, That's what sure. F is for Family is saying our sale is the end of tax season sale. Uh, yeah. That actually is true. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Whoa. Bloody right. Oh, and I just want to say hi to Soren Media. They just joined. Love you guys. Okay, so the next slide we're going to showcase is actually part of a, a whole series of lights that we carry here. So, Alex, will you take it away with sure. the Warrior 200X? I'm going to go ahead and get ready. I'll uh, get the other one prepped. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> so, right now, we're looking at the Warrior 200X. And this is a little bit bigger than the pop spot, but what I love about it is it offers a lot more output. So right now we're at zero percent, and uh, I'm going to actually, right now it's bare bulb, so this is one of our more bare bulbs. So it's not really a panel, but I can uh, really, really ramp it up. And I'm not even sure what, uh, I think it's still going. <laughs> Jeez, so th this is the light at full power, not the most flattering, but the way you would get it to be more flattering is uh, adding some sort of light modifier. You could use a softbox, a beauty dish, basically anything you want, even just a scrim, and you have so much control with this because of the bones mounts on the front side. Good. So, you mean know, a light modifier like this? Yeah, a light modifier just like this. Good work, Angel. So this is one of our lantern softboxes, and uh, bones mount makes it really easy to uh, turn on, so what I can do, the lanterns are great because they're pretty omnidirectional, I can aim it up top, and I can get it up the entire room, just for all of us, and it's uh, nice and soft, I don't have to worry about it being too harsh, so a lot, a big improvement off the uh, bare ball, which is very nice. Uh, another feature of the X, that X is for kind of how we distinguish bicolor in the warrior family, so. Right now we're at daylight, but I can really warm that up all the way down to tungsten, which is nice. So again, if I'm using like tungsten lights in the house and I really want to match that, I can just dial it down. Otherwise, and of course the opposite is true. If everyone's using daylight bulbs, just uh, dial it to daylight Good. and you have a much more consistent looking set. Want so to cool say hi to Jorge Colin Photography. They just joined in. And then Robert says, go Bowens Mount. So we know, we know what kind of uh, mount Robert likes. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we love Bowens Mountain here too. Most yep. of our lights are Bowens Mountain. Yep. Yeah, the Warrior series is great because they are all Bowens Mount, so all of our Bowens modifiers are perfect for it, mainly because they just fit on easily, <laughs> right outside the box. And if you already have those modifiers, you're already half halfway through the battle towards using these lights. Whoa! Oh, I, <laughs> I spoiled the surprise. <laughs> <Don't look. laughs> Yeah, so the Warrior 200 is probably on the lower end of the brightness. Like we also have a 300 watt, 600 watt series, and I think Angel just flashed this with the most powerful one in the Warrior family. We did. Oh. So here we go. One moment. Uh, drum roll, please. I guess. Da -da -da. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this one right here is our Warrior 1000 XR. So. X again means it's bicolor. Uh, don't block yourself. I don't want to cook Alex today, but yeah, this is our 1000 watt LED. Um, this one is for, again, part of the Warrior series. And with the Warrior series, the whole point of the Warrior series is to like kind of introduce um, 
a continuous LED light to people who are more, you know, used to traditional monolight style um, lighting. So again, monolight style form factor, uh, Bowling's mount in the front, super big LED chip also in the front. Going 700 Kelvin all the way up to, I believe, uh, looking like uh, 6,500 Kelvin. 6,500 Kelvin. So again, for the high key, high passion lighting. Um, and Alex, crank it up to 100% power. Is that 100%? Yeah, so we're at 100%. As you can see, it's got this long cable here. So I believe this cable is 10 feet long. Something like and that. And the whole yeah. point of this uh, light too is to have the, uh, the power supply separate from the light. So the power supply, um, again, it also has the uh, control interface. The light itself can be rigged high up, away from the power supply, so you can put it up. It's good for broadcasting, for studio, um, you name it. I mean, if you need a really bright light, this is it. Uh, and the 1000 watt um, name also, uh, I want to reference here too, it also kind of includes like the, the chip, the chip's nature. It has, um, I believe, a 500 watt draw of daylight and a 500 watt draw of um, tungsten. So super bright light, emits a lot of heat, and the R, the R in Warrior 1000 XR stands for weather resistant. So you can take this outside. Um, We're taking it outside. Huh? Yeah. In the rain, you know. Outdoors or anything like that. Uh, and it starts raining or a little water just, you know, will drizzle. This light won't die on you. <laughs> yeah. The show must go on. And with the weather resistant uh, build of this, the show will go on. Yeah. So if you're someone who likes to do a lot of waterworks in studio and uh, needs something like uh, that has continuous power and also like very bright, the Warrior 1000 XR is for you. And again, it's just, you can modify this light. So you want to throw in a, a lantern real quick, Alex? One thing to note though about this light is that it does get really, really hot. So be careful when handling. <laughs> but here we go. We're gonna just turn it on one last time to show you just how much power is in that light. And also, we do sell these lantern soft boxes as well. Uh, we have different sizes. I believe our smallest size is 22 inches, I believe, or 21 uh, 20, inches. I believe. And then 20, 20 inches. 26, and then 32 is the biggest That's one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nifty little light here. Um, we have we have taken this outside, and it does actually. Um, it, it can it can compete with the sun. Like if you turn this on and bright set the sun, uh, yeah, it gets daylight fill. Yeah, you get filled. <laughs> So that's how bright it is. It's also battery powered. You can put two um, V-mount batteries on it. And uh, I believe the runtime at full power with two V-mount batteries is 18 minutes. But yeah, in case you wanted to take it on location or do something quick um, in an area that you don't have a power, like a, a power, uh, what's it called, outlet. <laughs> yeah, you could definitely use this light to, um, you know, do some quick work with that. Another thing uh, this light has is special effects. So yeah, it's everything you need. Um, should we move on to... Just wanted to say uh, hi to uh, P-A-C-O-E-S-N-I. I'm not trying to pronounce that. Crossbones 118. Oh, and 32 others have joined. Wow. it's pretty cool. Hello, everybody. Hello. If you joined this uh, live stream, thank you so much. This is our NAB digital booth. We couldn't make it to NAB this year, but we're here giving you guys just a quick rundown of our lighting. We already went um, over our RGB handheld lights. We went over our... Um, Pop Spot V2, mm -hmm. and now we're talking about our Warrior series of lights. Now, <laughs> Alex, you want to know about the giveaway? So giveaway. The, Ooh, so yeah, about? for all of you who have just tuned in, or maybe people who are just need a quick refresher, we will be giving away a Prismo Pocket LED RGB light. So it does do just CCT color temperature, so daylight to tungsten. But the cool thing is, it also does do uh, HSI, so you can uh, add in a splash of color. This light. It's usually retailing for about uh, sixty dollars, but we are giving it away. All you have to do to enter is to DM us on Instagram the word Prismo. That's P R I Z M O, and uh, you can be entered into our giveaway. Whoa, which is lightning! Nice. <laughs> that's, that's, that's on purpose, right? That's one of the special yeah. effects. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, that's just for dramatic effect. So the, make sure you uh, enter into our giveaway. Just uh, again, DM us with the word Prismo, P R I Z M O. I mean, we'll take the S spelling as well. But yeah, um, <laughs> you'll be entered to win our Prismo Pocket. It's a great light. And that's, that's what I can't complain. It's one of my favorites. Gives me some. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and uh, guys, this is Sean. I'm running the camera. If you have any questions about any of the lights we're talking about, or if you have any questions about any of our gear, uh, just comment below. We'd love to love to help you out. And I just wanted to say hi to Pablo Diaz Photography. Just joined. 
And Robert said, thanks for doing this. Thanks for watching, Robert. All right, we got another light coming up here in a second. So now we're gonna transition away from In the beginning, we, uh, let's do flapjack first. Yeah, sure. yeah. In the beginning, we did reference like the difference between our lights. So we have two main form factors. Of course, the uh, the monolight style lights that let you let you use light modifiers, especially uh, Bowen's mount. Now, the next style we have are the flat panel lights, and we're gonna start off with. Um, What's how do you say it? fan favorite? Oh yeah, fan. <laughs> it's fan favorite. yeah, yeah fan favorite. Definitely one of the better sellers across the yeah. years. So this is our Flapjack Z seven hundred um, RSV. Now the cool thing about this light, out, um, Alex, you want to take it away from here? Sure. That's so the crowd know why this light is so cool. <laughs> is it the name? Because I, I love the Flapjack name because you turn it to the side and it really is just so thin. I mean, let's ignore the V mount battery, of course, but outside of that, it is a very thin form factor light. If anything, the stand base it takes up way more real estate than the actual light does yeah. but the, you're not really uh, sacrificing power or anything like if we were to show that i mean that's kind of what it looks like that's a good, good idea oh mr holga just ho joined hi mr holga greetings mr holga love your holga photography and uh love doing holga we holga week we do it every every yeah. year you can take some nice portraits of your holga using this light i mean look at that it's at full power and again you can go from 56 uh very flattering 5,600K all the way down to... 3,200, I believe. 3,200. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, and it's easy to use. I mean, let's get a quick pan of the back right here. Um, as you can see, this is the interface right here in the back. It's lit up, so lit up LCD display. But again, you have two knobs just to control the light, you know, all the functions of the light. You go from 10% all the way to 100%. And if you go all the way past 10%, you turn off the light, turn it back on. There you go. And then again, the, this other second knob here controls the color temperature. Right now we're running it off of V-mount power. Uh, this can run off of either two Sony MPF style batteries, which are included in the kit. They are, yep, that's yep. true. Or a V-mount battery, which is sold separately. Or if you have a V-mount battery, you can use one yourself. And also um, AC power. So it does come with a power supply. You can connect it here to the back and can run it off of your um, standard household power. Uh, so yeah, it's a great light, it's a complete kit. It comes with a case, uh, comes with batteries. And this light right now on our website is 15% um, <laughs> off because we're running a site wide sale right now. Um, hashtag here, ad. Hashtag <laughs> ad. <laughs> here from, uh, when is it, Wednesday that we're ending the sale? Until Wednesday, yeah. Yep. yeah. Wednesday will be the last day. Can I, can I say something about the. Sure, yeah, yeah. go for it. Pop so, uh, one of the cool things about the Flapjack, I don't know if they said this, LED edge lit. So, we have, there are no LEDs in the middle, they're all around the edge and they're lighting into this diffusion material. So the light bounces out. It's like having a softbox built into your light and you get this very soft diffused light. Now it's not very powerful, so I wouldn't recommend using this to light a big space, but it's wonderful for portrait photography. Um, so these are this is probably my favorite light that we sell here, Photodiox, gray light. And uh, yeah, so if you're interested in Flapjack, this is our Flapjack Studio. We've got a couple other sizes. This is our most popular. Yep. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to jump back out. Yeah. Another thing, too, to know is that a lot of people have heard, like, when, when the show is especially, they'll stop to look at this light and be like, wow, what is that? It's beautiful. Yeah, because it has a very minimalist design. I mean, hey, look at it. It's just all it is. And yeah, this light doesn't look all industrial, rugged, or commercial. It looks very flattering, aesthetically pleasing. You can prop this up at a wedding venue. Um, you know, pull it up at uh, your next commercial shoot for anything you need to do, and it's not going to look an eyesore. Now, if aesthetics are important to you, then hey, this light's for you. Yeah, I, I actually have used uh, flapjacks in a music video, yeah, uh, actually in the shot. Uh, we have a couple questions here. Sure. Oh, uh, so Soren Media says seems like a nice new pro neat new product. So uh, we've actually had this for since like 2013, I yeah, think. Yeah, this thing has been here longer than I have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, we have so many products. Sometimes, you know, there's always like yeah. ones that you didn't know about that you yeah. find out. So um, he's asking, what's the diameter in inches on this one? This is an 18 inch. So yeah, a lot of uh, lights on the market. Maybe you're going by one by one, but this is a nice happy medium. It's not too big at like the two by two, but it's like right in the middle between a one by one and too. Yeah. The round form factor just gives it nice, uh, very nice round catch lights in the eyes, and it's just very reminiscent of a softbox. Mm -hmm. And so. you don't really need any modification for it. It's pre-modded. Right. If you wanted to put a gel on it, I've, I know people who've cut gels to put on the flapjack. So it says thanks. Um, 
Mr. Holgus asking, can you change the light temperature? Yes. And yes, you can go between uh, 56 and 32. So that's 56 right now. And then we're going to 32. So you can make it warm. And now the, our phone, my phone is uh, modifying the color balance, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, but you can kind of see it. Um, we have a couple other questions here. Um, oh, uh, Mac Blank, Blankton photo joined. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, Mr. Holga said, and just like that, I changed the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, if your name's Mr. Holga, you know, people are going to talk about Holga when you... But yeah, no, we love, we love Holga's here. We love film photography here too. Um, right. Oh, Maurice... Uh, Mauricio Sanchez photo says, uh, how the Mamiya RB RZ67 Canon EF works directly from the previous model, which was dedicated for either RB or RZ, how are they combined now? I can actually explain that. Um, the, uh, so basically the, um, we used to have an RB67 adapter and an RZ67 adapter that were separate. Um, and, but both of them, the way you focus is you actually turned uh, turned a wheel on the adapter to move the lens back and forth because that's how the RB and RZ cameras were designed. Um, but now uh, we basically have one combined one and there's two markings on on the, the what do you call it, the barrel. focus adjustment, the focus yeah. barrel of the adapter. One marking is for RB infinity focus, one is for RZ infinity focus. So the new one just supports both. Uh, that's the simple explanation. Yep. You don't need to have two separate ones. You can swap it and out and you just go to the two settings. So, yep. yep. Uh, All right, Sean that's enough lens adapter talk for now. Back to lights. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alex, you want to tell them that we're going to transition from elegance to more industrial, more utilitarian design. Yes. So this light may not be as pretty to look at, but it oh. has a lot of control. Really quick, uh, Robert Silver is asking about wall power. I believe you're talking, Robert, about the uh, flapjack. Yes, that it can run off of wall AC power or battery. Yeah, it I comes with the power to use cable. It on uh, AC power personally, mainly because a lot of the times I'm in studio, I'm hardly ever on location. But that's why the battery power is so good because on location it still works just as well. So. Oh, and then Soren is asking, uh, can you dial in uh, exact percentages? Yes, it goes. The, the uh, studio so flapjack goes from uh, ten percent to one hundred percent. Yes. And is it by fives or tens or ones? Oh, I can't no, remember. I, Pretty sure you can do by like one percent. It's by ones like per, once per yeah. You, once you're at ten, ten's kind of where it bottoms out. And yeah. We can't do anything between like. Si and, and then same with the color balance, you can do adjust between the two, so it, it gives yeah. you a readout on yeah. the screen. Yep. So this light is instead. This is one of our newer lights. This is our P series, and this is not as nice to look at maybe as the flat jack, but it is uh, a lot more robust. I'd say a lot, uh, a lot thicker, a lot of. Uh, the build quality is a lot thicker and thin as well. And you do also get these nice barn doors. Currently I only have that 5%, but I can dial it about to uh, 20 or so. This is about the range I would be using it for if I'm in studio using it as a key light for me. And it's uh, still, again, pretty bright. This isn't as soft. I'd say it's a little bit punchier, mainly because you don't have the lights just on the edge, but there's also some directly on the panel. And this is another example of how like say the difference between an LED panel versus one of the warrior lights, mainly the warrior lights, all of the chips are spread into like one small area. Meanwhile, this is spread across a one by one area for this P60 here. This does also come in a different size. There is a P120. This is more of a one by two form factor. So again, it is one by one by two instead. So you get twice the area. So that's uh, twice the LEDs. So yeah. And of course, the one by two is a very popular form factor amongst filmmakers. I mean, all the filmmakers watching right now, I'm sure, are agreeing with that. And maybe we did get a lot of uh, people saying, "Hey, where's the one by? Where's the one by twos? Because we did have some one by ones on display, but again, it's just very traditional uh, form factor for lighting, the way the panel is shaped. And again, yeah, the barn doors are great, just for controlling the spill of the light. You, know, you can change the shape. Uh, you know, there you go. How narrow it gets, but. Um, with all of our lights, you know, depending on what you need and um, how you're going to use them, um, a light is a light. You know, it's going to give you a lot of power. But the PC, you know, the PC is definitely one of the newer, one of our newer lights. Uh, these ones are very affordable. These are very entry level. With uh, you know, they're very entry level, but they also have um, a lot of premium features. They're all metal. So again, like you know, everything on this light is pretty much metal except for the knobs. <laughs> Actually, the knobs are metal, but. 
Um, you can simply adjust, you know, as you can see here, Alex is talking about um, battery power. The uh, one by one we showed earlier was running off of V-mount. This one's running off of the ballast that's included in the kit. Now these ones are designed to be a fly and a safety cable. But um, yeah, Alex, you wanna go ahead and toggle between the modes and show them quickly kind of how easy it is to control the light? Sure, so uh, we do have a button for intensity, so that lets you uh, toggle between, uh, yeah, you can go all the way from zero all the way to 100, and then you can press TCT and you can control the color temperature. That's 6500K all the way down to 2700K. Again, if you want to match the existing lights in your scene, you would for sure want to adjust the color temperature. Or if you want to add a little bit of warmth and uh, yeah. coolness in camera, you can do that. I mean, we also do, uh, there are nice. the special effects modes. You can toggle through that as well. And another cool thing about this slide is it does have DMX control. So you can uh, plug it in here, uh, you know, control it from a, a DMX board. And I believe it does have wireless DMX as well. Is that what the 2.G stands for? I believe that is the case, yes. Or I think it also sets the address for the app. This light is also app controlled. I think we have used this before like while recording the podcast, and it does give us control, yeah. even though we're not right on the light. We can control it right from our phones. Soren Media has a question. Sure. Uh, one problem I always encounter with barn doors is that I cannot tilt the light downward. Is there a solution for this? <laughs> it does yeah, it does unfortunately... Easy. Yeah, that is a problem. So there is a solution. I'll show you right now. So look at the look at the mounting pin here on the light. So what you can do is you can un you know unmount the light. See this little socket here? Go ahead, Alex, pop it up. Sure. You can actually tilt mount it on its side like this on a light stand, and then you're able to tilt the light all you want and still be able to control the barn door. So as you can see, I have it at a very sharp angle here. I can still have access to barn doors, stuff like that. So yep. now the barn yeah. doors aren't really like, uh, <laughs> aren't, aren't hindered and you're able to use them. At the yeah. I'm not sure if other, com uh, other manufacturers um, have um, a light stud like that or a socket like that, but ours do. Um, a lot of our lights are designed this way so you can mount them, you know, in this style, and yeah. Soren Media says, very cool, smiley face wearing sunglasses. <laughs> nice. Alrighty, so, you know, Alex. The one by two form factor, as Angel said, is very popular in the industry, so why don't we move to the Prismo Go? Yeah. While you guys are doing that, let me uh, just say hi to some people. Sure, yeah. we got, uh, pop, uh, we've got Jam Bradford Photo. Yo, how's it going? Love your stuff. Uh, Julie Edwards Viola joined. Uh, Digital Photo Supply joined, Hello. and they gave us a 100, uh, uh, whatever that red 100 with the two underlines <laughs> under it. 100 emoji, which is awesome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and then uh, Luke Curtis, .co.uk joined, EG Photo, and uh, JC Visuals 23 joined. And he said, que pasa, hey. my people? Hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I couldn't make it out to NAB, but hey, we're here doing a digital This is our digital NAB booth. Yeah. And I'm sure Jaime is very familiar with our Prismo series of lights. Speaking of Prismo, guess what? If you're tuned in to this broadcast right now, we're doing a giveaway. So we're giving away our... <laughs> we're, giving, we're, giving, we're giving away one Prismo pocket to a lucky winner here today. How do you enter, you ask? It's easy. Simply DM us the word Prismo. It's spelled P-R-I-Z-M-O. DM us that word and you're entered to win one of these lights, very popular handheld lights, RGB and also- Show us the back of that. Control. There you go. So there you go. And it's got uh, two mounting points here on the side, uh, a quarter 20, of course. You can mount it on top of your light. Uh, it's rechargeable. Runtime on this, I believe, is an hour and 30 minutes. It can also charge your phone. So yeah, enter to win one today by simply DMing us the word Prismo. It's spelled P-R-I-Z-M-O. Okay, Alex. What do we have here? So this is, imagine <laughs> as a giant version of the Prismo Pocket. What if you couldn't put the Prismo Pocket in your pocket? We have the Prismo Go, oh. and it's on the go. So again, this is that same one by two form factor, which is really nice and industrial. It's a really good metal build. We've got some metal handles on the side, but uh, you can use it for CCT again. So we're all the way up to uh, 10,000 Kelvin, and we can dial it all the way down to, sorry. 2800 Kelvin and really good for color, changing the color temperature of the light. It makes it really nice. 
anything again, or you can just yeah. set some warmth and coolness and uh, yeah. Can. So, and this light is also diffused from the get go, so as you can see, the light is very soft. You can use it like without having to have additional um, diffusion material. However, diffusion is great because you can further diffuse this light with the there's a kit that we sell that includes a soft box attachment because the softer the light, the better. And even though the panel's already soft, you're asking yourself, how can it get even more softer? Well, yeah, it's true, you can. <laughs> Have you included a soft box on this panel here? It wraps around the barn doors and it you know, gives you even more of soft lighting. <laughs> a lot of repeating there, apologize yeah. for that. But so uh, just uh, real quick, Jan Bradford photo said, thanks, Sean, cool to see what you guys are up to. Thanks, uh, thanks Thank you. Jan. Thank you. And then uh, Soren Media said Prismo. Uh, don't say Prismo in the text. Uh, actually, DM us Prismo. That's how you enter. Yeah. Or if you, uh, yeah, if you know how to spell it, just uh, get, send us a voice memo. Oh, yeah. oh no, they're all saying Prismo now. Oh, JC Vision. DM us. Yeah, yeah DM, DM us. us. Send, send <laughs> I think I think they're just messing with us now. That's funny. <laughs> but cool thing about the Prismo Go, let's uh, reel it back in. So you can use it in CCT mode, but we can also use it in HSI. So get creative with your colors. Add some color into your image, and you can uh, just basically adjust it across the entire uh, hue. Uh, scale so that's 360 degrees all the way around so we're going from red to red on the other side of the spectrum yeah, yeah. so you can really dial in whatever color you like and you can control the saturation too say you want it a bit more muted you can dial it down but you can just keep it uh, right at 100 percent so those, for those deep saturated colors so you can get a nice deep rich blue magenta red basically any color you can think of yeah yeah for sure. Um, let's set it to, and again, it runs off of a 360 degree color wheel. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, traditional color wheel, however you look at it, depending on what degree you're in is what color it is. So Alec, let's go to uh, 16 degrees. That's my favorite value. Why it's a nice little degrees. warm orange. It's like orangey yellow light, but favorite light right here reminds me of Blade Runner. You know, the desert scene, that was really good. Yeah, it's not too <laughs> orange, not too yellow. It's a nice, very warm sunset, yeah. sunrise tone. And another cool thing about the slide is it does have special effects. And it also has Roscoe filter pre, uh, filter presets on here, so you can use it with um, other studio lights you have. Uh, you can use it with you know your flash. You can use it with anything. This is, this is a great light to supplement what you have in studio, or just use as a key light. And that's true about all of our lights. But the fact that it has those Roscoe gel presets just makes it an easier light to use. You know. Um, What's, what's light called again? It's called the Prismo Go. Prismo Go. And speaking of Prismo, if you're still watching here, <laughs> once again, we have a giveaway. So we're going to give away one of our... Let me say real quick, uh, hi to Midnight Media Group for joining. Hello. Uh, Engaged Theory joined. Pets Fall Pixels joined. Love that name, Pets Fall Pixels. That's awesome. Uh, Digital Photo Supply gave us uh, three party hats and fire. So thanks for that. And then Danny Salazar joined. Hi, Danny. All of you who just joined, um, thank you so much. This is our NAB uh, digital showcase. So we can't be at NAB, but we're here and we're showing you guys our lights. Uh, we just got done talking about our Prismo Go. And yeah, if you want to, uh, if you heard about our giveaway, we are giving away one of these little Prismo pockets. So it's a pocket size little square light and the way to enter to win this light is simply DM us Prismo. And again, DM us, not in the chat here. Uh, go, to our, go to your direct messages and just send us a message and say, Prismo, okay? P-R-I-Z-M-O. Yep, you'll be answered to win one of these lights. So, yep. And then if you win, we will DM you back. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we'll message you back. Yeah. We will, yeah. Okay, so we'll move on to what's next on the agenda here. Speaking of Prismo, we're going to show you guys one of our one of more of our exciting lights here. So uh, the next light that, <laughs> that we have. Oh, bye, Mr. Holga. Holga's leaving. He bye, said, Mr. sorry, Holga. guys. Thanks for the demo. Got a scoot. Thanks for stopping by, Mr. Holga. Yeah. So the, yeah, this is our Dowlight Prismo. Um, this does run on a battery. We don't have the battery here right now, so we're gonna plug it in yeah. to a power source. That way the battery's not dying on us in the middle of this. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so this is a, another wand style LED light. So the cool thing about that. What do you hear now? So this is also 
uh, HSI, and it does have the same CCT mode as well. But the cool thing about the, the Dow light versus the Prismo stick is that it is 360 degrees, so all the way around the light, uh, you, do get, uh, you do get LED coverage, so you could theoretically put it between you and a subject and you're both lit. Uh, What's up? Oh, nothing. We're good. Okay, yeah, look at that. that. It basically looks like a lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> we were so, super excited when we got these. <laughs> so yeah, this is our, uh, this is the, um, the big boy version of our Prisma stick. Mm -hmm. Prisma stick is our more uh, lower end one. These are very powerful. What's great is uh, because they point in all directions, you get a 360 degree lighting. So you can put it in the middle of the scene and light in all directions, which is really nice. So this is our Prisma stick here. This is the baby version, a little shorter, and it's only lit on one side. You can turn it around. So it's only, uh, you know, 180 degree lighting. This is 360 degree. Yeah, using the yeah. two colors is really cool for some nice color contrast. We've got a very deep red and with this uh, cool cyan, it's a really nice combination. There's that 3D glasses effect as well. <laughs> Soren uh, Media says, ah yes, the lightsaber. <laughs> yes, we actually kind of uh, advertise it as a lightsaber. This is actually the ad we did for our Dalai Prismo Just don't tell them out. with our uh, model Cole. And as you can see, Cole is very much looks like a Jedi in that shot. <laughs> Uh, J uh, Jan Bradford photo says that looks like it'd be super fun for light painting too. Yes, absolutely. Especially yeah. if you have the battery candle that we don't have right now charged, but you can have, uh, you can't power the light over battery power, which is nice. You, you can go cordless but, and makes it excellent for light painting. Yeah. So, uh, we got, uh, Jane Brotons joined and then digital photo, photo supply says Star Wars in action. Yeah, pretty <laughs> it much. is. Yeah. Yeah, so another cool thing about this slide is we sell it. We sell a barn door accessory um, that basically cuts down the light to 180 degrees, but also lets you control it, uh, the spread and everything. So, mm -hmm. yes. so if you do want that control, if you don't want it to be a 360 degree light, you can really narrow that beam. Yep. So it's only going where you want it to go. So These are, again, very important with all of our lights. Dow light, Prismo Edition lights, we do also sell them as just bicolor too. Yeah. Yeah. Those are they're a little more affordable, but you you you're gonna want the, the yeah, bicolor version. Yeah, RGB, RGB mode still gives you the you know the capability of you know still using. Uh, Why wouldn't you want a lightsaber? <laughs> uh, and they are not combat uh, worthy. I had Jeez. someone actually ask about that. Please no, you can't fight with them. No, um, with these. I I actually uh, will use these to uh, add a splash of color to my videos. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll put it off to the side and just add yeah. a little bit of blue, a little bit of green. These, yeah. 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 Uh, and you can even have them on camera. I've done a couple videos where they're just in the background because they look good enough to just kind of be in the shot. Yep. And they also have special effects too as well. So you can toggle through different, uh, you know, uh, practical effects to emulate, you know, real, real world scenarios. Like right here, I have candle light. It's like a, supposed to emulate a candle lit scene. I have your fireworks, you know, 4th of July kind of thing. Oh, wow, the fireworks. So, Ooh, yeah, wow. strobe. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Light flash. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> Watch out. Okay. So, uh, yeah, again, this is our uh, Prismo Dow Light. Uh, this is super cool. A lot of people at the trade shows will always come up to this light and be like, oh my God, this is so cool. Look at it. It's a lightsaber. But yeah, it yeah. is. Dreamcatcher um, Cinema joined us. Hi, Dreamcatcher. And da Dana Starr joined as well. Hi, awesome. Hi Dana. Or Dana. Okay, I mean that. Oh, we have one last slide to showcase. So, while we're gonna get that light set up, but in the meantime, we're just gonna take a quick little break, maybe like a one minute break while we set up the next light. So, Sean, if you wanna just focus it, um, I don't know, that way. <laughs> what light are we setting up? Oh. Gotta get the memo on this. Okay, let's set that light up. Here, uh, you know what? Here, I'll talk about the. Um, uh, give me that mini one. Yeah. The pocket. Yeah. If you just joined us, we're giving, uh, we're doing a giveaway. We're giving away this light. This is our Prismo Pocket light. Very compact, fits right in your pocket. Full RGB. Um, you can do daylight, tungsten, but you can do pretty much any color you can imagine. Uh, if you want to be entered uh, to win this light, we're doing a giveaway. Just uh, DM our Instagram account. DM uh, the word Prismo, P-R-Z-M-O. And uh, one lucky person will be We'll be sending you one of these little bad boys, Prismo Pocket. Great little light, perfect. Uh, it's got quarter 20 mounts, so you can mount it on a tripod. You can do a lot with this light. 
We're actually, I'm actually going to film you guys setting this up. Yep, we'll turn on the lights real quick. <laughs> Here. So we're actually using this Warrior light with our uh, Easy Pro 32 DLX softbox uh, beauty dish, collapsible beauty dish, to light our uh, video today. Oh, Dreamcatcher Cinema says, ooh, I love that and we'll make sure to even stop by to see you guys. Oh, definitely. So Dreamcatcher Cinema, we are actually located in Chicago, Illinois. We're actually not at NAB this year. Uh, this is our uh, digital booth because we couldn't make it this year. Um, but if you live in the Chicago area and you can just call us, you can always swing by our offices where we're actually filming this right now. Um, we will be at NAB next year, though. So if you're at NAB next year, come visit us there for Confirmed. sure. Confirmed. Confirmed. Okay, so the next slide we're going to showcase, uh, look, take a look at it real quick, trying to zoom in on it. This is called our Sky Filler Wings. So our Sky Filler line, Alex, what would you, what would, how would you describe our Sky Filler series? The Sky Filler is kind of a very nice mix between uh, just your standard LED panel, but it's a lot more lightweight. Like, we trade in the metal frames, and even though, even some of the... Uh, Bigger sky filler wings do still have the metal frames, but the best part about the sky filler wings is that it is hinged. So uh, rather than having to pack in a giant box, it does fold back out and we can mount it onto this Kinoflo style head. So go ahead and show it up so everybody's on here. Clear more that way, Alex. Yeah. It can be a bit tricky to mount, but you guys are doing a good job, looks like. Make sure that was on the floor, right? Probably, yeah, it's yeah. better to mount it on the floor. Than, but, you know, it looks like you guys almost got yeah, it. Yeah, you should mount it. No, I hold it. Luckily, it's not that heavy, which I like. Yeah, and that's the beauty of it. The Sky Filler wings are definitely not our... Here, I'm going to tighten uh, that. That might help. It's definitely not our heaviest lights, which is nice. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Want to do it on the floor? Sure, let's do that. To be honest with you, I've never done a standing up. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's easier yeah, to mount it on the floor. Yeah. All right. So okay, sure. which uh, version of the Sky Filler Wings is this? This is the um, this is the Sky Filler Wings uh, 1500 RGB. So we have a bicolor version. This is the Prismo edition, right there. And just for reference, um, we're gonna go show you the original Sky Filler as well. Sean, I'm gonna show this one right here real quick. So this one here is our Sky Filler 70. This is the original Sky Filler we launched. So as you can see, it's a very flat panel. Uh, it comes with this uh, uh, Pinot Flow style. Um, mount here so it just you know quickly comes off and on you can take it off like this quickly you know put it anywhere you want and then mount it back on to the mount itself and again I made the mistake of mounting this uh, <laughs> on in the air so if I can't get this up here that's okay we'll move on but one, one thing I want to note um, real quick is this uh, diffusion panel can come off it's attached field dog pro but to take a look there, those are the LED chips right on the board itself. This is a very thin panel, um, and it's already kind of diffused from the get-go, just from this acrylic diffuse, uh, diffusion material that's in the front. But with the included uh, Velcro softbox, you just mount it on and get even more soft. Relief. Yeah, and we've been using that to light us today, actually. Yeah. So most of the video has been lit with uh, with this light and then with our warrior yeah. light up here with the... And it has a very long cord that connects to the power supply that also acts as the... Uh, control the power box. supply down here. The control box as well, so you can control the light from here, turn it on, turn it off, adjust the color temperature and brightness. But that's what it's called. The sky filler is supposed to be very lightweight and also um you can mount these high up you know so you can use it for broadcasting podcasting filmmaking just about anything um very bright and speaking of bright here is our it's done 30 30 inch or 36 inch this is 36 inch so yeah. 36 inch across and uh very comparable to our uh largest flap jack the ye old legendary c1500 rsv but now we're looking at the uh, sky filler wings this is our largest one and it is the wings uh, do mean it's hinged in the middle, so just yep. fold in half for easy storage. Uh, again, we have our usual CCT modes for tungsten and daylight, but we do also get to use color as well, so I can dial up that saturation for a nice deep red. I can get this intensity, and this is only even at 36 or 34 percent. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we can control it to make it any color we want, and that's a very, very deep green as well. Yeah, it does come with a diffuser as well, so the diffuser simply mm -hmm. like uh, pops open and it's included here in the case. So this is the case you get with the light. Uh, Sean, I'm gonna show them real quick here. So this is the, the case that it comes with. Everything's bundled in here. 
You got your cables, you got your softbox here, your diffusion material, and it's easy to just pop open, you just pop open, toss the bag. <laughs> Hey, we actually have a request. Sure. Soren Media is asking if he can be in our video. Should we let him jump in? Sure. PG. <laughs> All right, keep it PG. <laughs> I'm viewing there. Okay. All right. Let's only hit the button. You there, Soren? Yeah. Sorry, it's your media, your Instagram name, not your name. But <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hello. Hey, good, you guys. Good to see you. Yeah, just wanted to say hi. Uh, amazing products. That's all. Just cheers from Montreal. Looks oh, awesome. awesome. Hey, thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, good to see you. So you're uh, you're working on a, pro a project right now, right? Yes, yes. Well, I'm doing mushroom time lapses, so very, very different. But um, yeah, it's for my second part, uh, the documentary on agriculture. So I have uh, have look. I can show you here. It's just, I've got several kits going on. I don't know if you can see. Hold on. And Hold you're on. doing uh, some macro photography, correct? With some of our yeah. macro stuff? Yeah. I don't yeah. know if you can see it. Hold on. So this is a little, uh, this isn't lighting per se, but we do, uh, we do offer macro products as well. Macro extension tubes in this case. And uh, Sword Media, they're working on that right now. So. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for showing us. Uh, hey, you need lighting for everything, right? Could be flowers. Oh, yeah. Could be, yeah. Could you need it for macro could be mushrooms. And video. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, we'll, we'll definitely we'll, uh, have to uh, have you on a, a, another stream soon. Maybe our macro stream. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, we're going to let you go. Have a, yeah. have a good rest of your day. Thanks. You Bye. Bye. Oh, let's see. I'm not sure how to turn this off. <laughs> Here yes, we go. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to remove you from the live video. Uh, have a good day. All right. So, what's the correct time? Oh, no, that was incorrect. All right. Here. Sorry. Let me see. Maybe I'll just leave and I'll join again. Yeah. 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 yeah just uh, jump out there. That should work. Sorry. We've never done this before with the, someone joining the call. <laughs> Bye. Good talking to you. All right, so we are working on our, uh, what are we looking at right now? We're looking at our sky filler wings. Prismo Edition. This Prismo Edition. 36 inch ground version. And the sky filler wings, meaning it does fold in half for your storage. So rather than this honking huge uh, case, you would have in the box. Case half this size as well. Here's Angel adding the diffuser. So you're hold us on the softness even more. Yeah, the bottom's over the top of all right, so we're going to be going pretty soon here. We've been running uh, an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're just going to finish up this one. Then we're going to tell you one more time about the uh, the contest we're running. And then we'll probably say goodbye. So yeah, sure. let's see here. We're putting the diffuser currently on the sky filler wings. It's a little bit tricky just because, because of how it's uh, constructed. But it's not too bad. This is about all the basic things. But yeah, once again, uh, if you're listening, yeah, you can win one of our smaller Prismo Pocket LED lights. I'm not really sure where it is right oh, now. Oh, we got it right over here. Oh, sure. So it is a smaller light that is super flexible. You can use it in uh, CCT mode. You can use it in HSI. We currently have it on a special effect that goes through all of the different colors. Uh, you can DM us, DM the Photo Deox Pro Instagram with the word Prismo, P-R-I-Z. MO, and uh, you can be entered to a chance to win. One of you lucky uh, DMers will be getting a Prismo pocket, but the rest I'm sure we can uh, slip something nice, like a little coupon code. But uh, if you're looking for a coupon code, I think the best time to buy a light has got to be today and tomorrow because we are running a 15% off site-wide sale on photodeox.com. So basically everything from lighting, all the lighting we talked about, to the lens adapters that we talked about yesterday are going to be on sale. Cool. Yeah, so... Uh, head to photodeox.com. We got 15% off sale uh, today and tomorrow, and then it's then it's over yeah. with. So. so zoom in on us real quick. Yeah, thank yeah. you again. Uh, go, go, go uh, you know, you sign up for the giveaway, but with the diffuser here, as you can see, boom, even more soft. Yeah, very, very comparable to like the flapjack yeah. light as well. So about twice the size, but it, very nice and soft. So what light are we looking at here again? We're looking at the Skyfiller Wings Prismo Edition. 
It's a 36 inch round panel that can fold in half and be put away in the storage case that it comes with. Um, it can be controlled with the power supply that Alex has here. So yeah, I mean, it's a great light. It's probably one of our <laughs> biggest lights we offer here. Um, and it's 36 inches long, as you can see. And it is bicolor too. Alex, can you do it bicolor? Sure. Tune it all the way down to, uh, oh, yeah. Tune it all the way down to tungsten. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all of our lights that we have to um, offer or showcase. We do have an extensive catalog of lighting that we didn't talk about today, but head on over to our website, head on over to our YouTube channel. Sean makes a lot of great videos uh, for us on our lighting and just, yeah, just check out all of our lighting and see what, um, what works best for you, what might work for you. If you have any questions, you can uh, DM us on Instagram. You can email us. You can call us. You know, one of us here will answer the phone and uh, kind of guide you through, um, you know, or help you with any questions or concerns you may have. And like Alex said previously, we are running a 15% off site-wide sale. So yeah. head over to photodxpro.com to see more information um, about our lighting. But right now, if you have any questions, guys, yeah, uh, let us know. Um, we can open it up for chat for questions for another couple minutes here. Yeah. Alex, tell us about your TikTok, the TikTok you do. You <laughs> so I do do the TikToks as well. And then TikTok is a great platform for- uh, It's not your TikTok, video. Photo Deox TikTok, TikTok, yeah. TikTok. But you're the host of it. Yeah, I like to uh, make smaller videos and just try to compact as much information I can about different products we have, whether that be uh, macro accessories, lens adapters, light modifiers, lighting and whatnot. But just being able to, it's just, it's a lot of what Sean does, but Sean does a lot better and a lot of, <laughs> does it a lot more thoroughly as well, but yeah, TikTok's a great platform, and we, we are on TikTok, we're on uh, Instagram, Facebook, or do, do they call it Meta now? It's I, Facebook. Yeah. It's still Facebook? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we're on all kinds of socials, so follow us to uh, keep up with uh, releases for new products, and uh, we're usually going to post there, especially when we release something new, so you guys can be first to know if you're keeping up with our socials, uh, but obviously, uh, you can sign up for the newsletter as well, we like to give a few emails every Right now and then, just to let you guys know when we run the sales. Uh, yeah. So yeah. We'll have everything. All right. Well, thanks for joining us uh, for our second day of our NAB digital booth. Tomorrow, we're coming back. We're doing cinema gear tomorrow. So uh, could we be will. Anything under the sun. Yeah, it could be pretty much anything we have here. So stay tuned for that. Uh, th uh, that'll be uh, 3 p.m. Central Time. Um, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. See you then. Take care. Thank you.